Hi and welcome to the second video in a series of videos about real-time simulation in an educational context. My name is James and this video is dedicated to breaking down the concept of rapid control prototyping, what it is, how and why it should be used. Keep in mind that the acronym RCP will mostly be used. Let's take a look at a quick recap of the previous video. As we learn that real-time simulation and testing encompasses rapid control prototyping and hardware in the loop simulation. The figure depicted here shows where RCP simulation fits into the MBDV diagram. Now let's dive into the concept of RCP. RCP is a technique that lets engineers to quickly test and iterate their control strategies. In RCP, we are testing a control model running on a speedgo target machine while it is connected to the physical plant. Basically, all we do is replace a virtual plant with a physical plant. Now, let's look at the sequential flow of events demonstrating RCP. We model a design with software in a virtual environment. Here we have the actual physical plant that was modeled in the simulation environment. And the connection is as follows. First, we connect the physical plant to a speedgo target machine with I.O. cables. We also connect the speedgo target machine to the development computer with an Ethernet cable. We then replace the virtual plant model in the simulation environment with the speedgo I.O. blocks. And finally, we deploy and run the control implementation in real time on the speedgo target machine. Here we consider four main advantages of RCP. First, it's easier to debug since every internal controller state is available. Second, save time and reduce costs. Third, validation of system requirements. And then last but not least, the controller prototype can be tuned on the fly. Now let's look at the common applications of RCP and they include rapid test and iteration of control strategies with real hardware such as drives and motors. This is a key factor for most engineering students. Also, high fidelity closed loop control leveraging low latency IOs and FPGAs. This is widely used in the industry of sound systems. Let's review a quick summary of RCP. Notice that you can test a control system design running on the speedgo target machine while it is connected to your physical plant. Also remember that the speedgo target machine acts as your controller. This brings me to the end of the video, and in the next video we will consider a detailed explanation of hardware in the loop which is displayed in the video diagram. Thanks for watching the video, I'll catch you in the next.